Hi everyone, this video is to help you on using Microsoft Teams, which is a brilliant application that you can get inside your Glow account, and you can also get it as an app that can be downloaded onto any phone, tablet, or laptop computer as well. Um, really, really powerful application, and it's one that is very likely your, your class is gonna start using. Um, over the coming weeks and months if they haven't already because it's a brilliant way for everyone to share learning experiences for you guys to actually ask each other questions and still learn together and also have some video lessons as well from your class teacher a really really good application if you haven't watched the last video though which was on how to set up your glow account please do that before you watch this because quite a few of the things in this video you'll have had to set up in your Glow first of all. So the link to that video is down in the description below. Otherwise, hope this video is helpful and I will see you later. So in the last video, we set up our Glow Launchpad and that's what's on the screen in front of me. We put in Microsoft Outlook, so your email. We put in Microsoft Teams, we put in OneDrive. The thing we're really gonna focus on today is Teams, but I should point out you can download um, the other apps onto your phone and tablet as well if you want to do that. But Microsoft Teams is where most of our learning is gonna be happening. So the last time you saw this screen on the last video, it had the Join or Create Team over here. It's now got demo class because this person has been added to my class. Up here, you can see join or create team. You will have the option to do that if you want to make a new team with your friends, maybe say you're working on a certain project, or you've been asked to join another team and you've been given an invite code. You can do that over here. For just now though, we're going to pop into our team. I should point out other things on your menu though. You've got activity, which shows you what's happened. Um, you've also got things like your file, any class notebooks, assignment grades. Your team here, if we click on that, you'll see that we go into our class. We can type a conversation to everyone in the class. Um, we can mention someone in particular if we want them to get a notification. Um, can change the font graphics, we can add an attachment, we can put in emojis, we can put in GIFs. Please don't overwhelm your class page with GIFs. Um, this is a stream button, so I think you can actually stream something live. There is an option that teachers have as well, which is to start a meeting, a video meeting. You don't have that option, but they can click that and you all get to join in a class meeting. It's pretty cool. It's then essentially an online classroom where you can all see each other and you can chat and have conversations. Should point out though, you need to be careful on team meetings that you don't try and talk over each other because it really does start to glitch out if too many people are talking at the same time. Your teacher might have to mute you if you do that. Um, other things, assignments, it might apply to you if your teacher set an assignment. Um, you choose your class, you go into that, but your teacher will talk to you if you're doing that. Um, calendar, if you've got any upcoming meetings that are scheduled, you'll see that in your calendar and you can add things as well. Maybe you've got different tasks you want to put down. Maybe you want to remind yourself about Joe Wick's PE session in the morning, that type of thing. And finally, files. If your teacher's uploaded any files for you to access, they'll come in here and you've also got your own OneDrive where you can save your own personal stuff. So that is kind of everything to Teams. But I did say it wasn't just about accessing it on Glow, and that's so true because there are the Teams apps as well. You can download Microsoft Teams on your desktop, on your laptop, on your iPad, or any tablet, or any smartphone. And I'll show you how to do that just now. So I've just run a quick Google search for download Teams, and the first thing that comes up is this products.office.com. If you're on a computer, you can download it through the desktop app here. I'm on a Mac just now, so that's why it's defaulting to Mac, but yours will come up with whatever device you're using. There is also the mobile app, so you can do that on a computer if you want by getting the um, download link sent to you, or you can just go into the app store on your device, and I'll put a picture of what the Teams app looks like on an iPhone. 
So when I open up the Microsoft Teams app for the first time, it asks me to put in my sign-in address. Now that is my Glow email address. And for those of you that don't know what your Glow email address is, it's actually your Glow username. So GW, whatever your numbers are, and normally then your surname and first name. Followed by at glow.sch.uk. That is your email address. So it's your Glow username at glow.sch.uk. Then you click sign in. It is going to take you to your Glow sign in page. Which is why it's really important to have Glow set up before you do Teams, just to make sure there's no troubleshooting. And also in case you want to change your Glow password or anything like that. And then after you've done that, you will be taken to this display and it looks exactly or almost exactly like what it does in the Glow browser. And it's pretty much the same display um, for whatever device you're using. Some of the options will be in different layout, but they're all there. Just get to know the different things and you'll be absolutely flying. So you just go into your team, type conversation to the rest of the team. Um, upload work, get work, put photos of yourself doing learning, stream if you want to stream something you're doing. Um, just really think what you want to put and what you can contribute to your class. Just do us a favor and make sure that you always have good online safety. Don't go sharing your password with anyone. Don't say rude or offensive things. Just remember who your audience are and do remember that your um, everything you do on this will be monitored by your class teacher. Teams is an amazing application and it really is going to help us over the coming weeks and months as we start to learn together. Remember that the teachers are quite often still learning how to use this as well. We're all learning together. But at the moment, with everything in lockdown, it is one of the best ways that we can still make sure we're keeping up our learning. And I know you're thinking, oh, we're at home, why can't we just spend time playing? And sure, yeah, get lots more playtime, absolutely. But it is still important to try and keep up some of your work because it is going to have such an impact on the future for everyone at the moment. We are going to be losing about six months of learning time. And I know that seems like a great thing at first. You're going to get bored, you'll come out of routine and we will start to fall behind. So it's important to try and keep doing wee things each day. And even if that's just logging on to Glow and asking a couple of questions on Teams, watching a couple of lessons or joining in with a couple of lessons and doing a bit of some job, that's still more than nothing. So please do keep trying to learn, keep having fun and please stay safe. In the coming weeks, I'm hoping to do an online lesson with the Moss Park Tech team, which will be absolutely fantastic if I can get that organized and set up. Um, if any of the tech team are watching this video, then expect an email just after we come back from Easter holidays, because I'm gonna set up a virtual lesson with you guys so that we can actually teach everyone how to use Teams in even more depth, teach teachers and pupils. So look out for that video when it comes. Again, I hope this video has been helpful. Stay safe and see you soon.